Hey everyone, uh, welcome to FO Golf Channel and welcome to my home gym. Today I'm going to show you two exercises that's going to help you get a little bit more power, energy, and if you have energy and power from the correct place, you will get more distance with your clubs. And obviously that the exercise is going to help you increase your club head speed, right? So um, the first exercise now, if you have been watching some of the exercises, you know, some of the episodes from our, you know, in the beginning, this will make it easier. But remember, anytime when you do exercise, try to do it slow, not too fast, nothing too heavy. All right, so let's get started. So um, I'm actually going to get, I have a 10 pound, eight pounds and five pounds, and I have 15 and 20. Really, with all the golf exercises, you don't need more than 20 pounds, okay? So I'm gonna just, for the sake of exercise, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna grab a set of eights, all right? So the reason why I'm setting my camera this way so you can also see me in the mirror, right? So first, I'm gonna give you all different angles. First of all, and also, if you guys notice that I have some clips over here, <laughs> I don't, have, I don't want any spandex, so um, nothing tight. So I just want to show you how my pelvis and my glutes and how those areas move. Okay, let's get started. So I call this exercise really deep squat with posterior finish. Yeah, so I'm going to show you from the front view first. Looks like this. Shoulder width stance, okay? All right, inhale on the way down, go, all the way down, all the way down, okay, engage your core and come back up, make sure you don't pop your knees like this, keep it neutral flex, and then when you come up here, go to this posterior position, which is your pelvis thrust, okay, as you can see right now, my abdominal is engaged inward, right? And if you see the back, I'm contracting my gluteus maximus. All right, I'm gonna do a couple of times, slowly. All right, it looks like I'm humping something, but I'm not. I'm just moving my pelvis to create this posterior position and engage my abdominal muscles. All right, I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna do three reps, slowly. All right, so I'm gonna do a back view, or side view first. You can see me from here. This is side view. Two times. One more. All right, so that's for the deep squat with lightweight posterior position. Core engagement, core uh, glutes engagement. Obviously, you will use your quadricep, your hamstrings, your inner thigh muscles. All right, so um, this exercise will definitely give you a lot more core pressure and correct usage of your lower body. It'll give you more speed and distance. 
All right, now we're gonna go to the next exercise. So this one, really, we are just working on your core. A lot of times, you know, when you go to the gym, when you do setups, any type of abdominal exercise, um, be careful when you do abdominal exercise, understanding the way how your front, upper abdominal and lower abdominal muscle may, you know, we call it a six pack, obviously, six pack is muscles that's built in a way where it's sections, right? When you do abdominal exercise, the most important thing is do not pop your belly out, okay? You want to be able to roll your muscles, right? Think about it. Right now, you can see, just say this six pack, this is your abdominal muscles. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. What you're doing, you're rolling your body. That's how you work your abdominal muscles. All right, so I'm gonna show you, when you're at the gym, or anywhere, make sure you can do it in many different ways. You don't need heavy weight. Now, I'm gonna show you how to use this ball. But, first you can literally be on the ground, you know, lay flat. And then, you can cross your feet, or not, right? I like to cross them just so it give me a little bit more stability. Feels that way. What is this right now? I'm gonna show you my abdominal. I don't have six pack. So what is this? On the way up, you wanna make sure, a better view. On the way up, you wanna make sure you're rolling your abdominal muscles. So it looks like this. I'm rolling, okay? Now obviously, sometimes I will put a weight in a bench, but I do it very slowly, okay? So let's just do it one more time. See how I'm trying to roll, roll my body up. Do not try to lift, okay? Now if you say, that, well, I can't feel like rolling it, I cannot go all the way up. You don't have to. You can do a very minimal range of motion. Do this, roll it. See, I'm trying to roll them, okay? Roll it, okay? Roll it. Roll it, okay? Now, if you have something that secures your feet, all right, so watch this. I'm gonna go a little closer to mine. I have a treadmill right here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go all the way up. Roll it, okay? Roll it, okay? All right, so that's how you work on your abdominal muscle. That's the correct way, the proper way to work on your abdominal, your abs engagement, okay? Now obviously sometimes, if I wanna give myself some little bit of difficulty, make it a little bit harder, I have a six pound medicine ball. You do the same thing. This time I'm gonna show you this view, okay? All right? I'm gonna roll, okay? Do it very slowly and roll. Now watch this, when I bring it down, I also, I don't release very quickly. I don't do that, okay? I do it very slowly, watch this. I try to do it very slowly, slowly and releasing the roll. All right? So again, you wanna imagine yourself rolling up, don't lift up, okay? Lifting up, it's not going to help you develop those muscles correctly, all right? So um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. All right, so those are the two exercises that's gonna help you get a little bit more stability, mobility, and like I say, power, energy, and speed. It'll get you distance off the tee, your irons, all right? So um, hopefully I explained to you guys pretty clear. If you have any questions, leave a comment and email me. And guys, if you're up north, Canada, really anywhere that's cold, you're not going to play a lot of golf out there. 
in the winter time. So this is a perfect opportunity this time of year to really work on your golf body, golf fitness, and conditioning yourself to build your golf swing for the spring. All right? So um, thank you for watching, and um, I will see you next time.